How can you make the people in your team or family be fully energized in their job or at school? Is this even possible? I've been struggling on this topic both my full-time job and at home with my kids. In this video, you'll learn the five levels of esteem which you must know to dramatically change the performance of any organization you're leading. But just before we dive into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and changing your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Have you ever had this experience? You try to persuade or encourage your friends or family to think positive, to be strong and don't give up, but all your words don't stick to them at all. Well, there might be multiple reasons why, but I've learned I didn't understand the principles I'm gonna share with you right now. Everyone has a bucket of water called self-esteem. Some people have only 10% in it, or maybe 80%, or for some, the water might be overflowing. The principle is this, whenever people build up their self-esteem until the water overflows, then they can believe in themselves and take any action spontaneously. Without high self-esteem, people can't take ownership. They end up blaming others in their circumstances, but this isn't necessarily their fault. It's usually caused from the people they grew up with, their parents and teachers or friends that were negative or critical. The way to raise their self-esteem is to simply fill the bucket of water with esteem. For you as a leader or a parent or a friend to pour water with your bare hands into the bucket. That's right, with your bare hands little by little. In order to do this, you need to understand the five levels of esteem. The higher you go, the more impact you can bring. The first level is esteem their accomplishment. This is quite simple. If your kid got a high score in an exam, you can easily praise him, right? Or if your teammate got a new business, it's easy to say good job and praise the result that he or she achieved. Whenever someone achieves something, most of us can naturally praise them and give recognition. This is the first level which will pour water to the bucket and increase someone's self-esteem. The next level is esteem their process. Would you feel good if someone said you're born pretty? Or would you feel much better when you were told that you take good care of your beauty and health? When someone praises your process, the hard work you put in to get the result, it should feel a lot better. Research says that especially women seem to favor being praised by their process rather than achievements. So whenever you have a chance to provide compliments, praise the process on how they've achieved the results. The third level is esteem their action. As a leader or a parent, it's rather easy to praise someone of what they've achieved and the process on how. But it's critical to praise those who are not yet getting the results. We all fail in life. We all don't easily get the results. Especially when you're trying something new, it's really hard. I think someone that is taking actions is purely beautiful. And anyone who is a leader needs to recognize this, to praise those who are putting the sweat and effort and taking actions to accomplish their goals, whether or not they have the results in their hands yet. The fourth level is esteem their mindset. This one really changed my life. There are people, especially kids, that have big aspirations but lack actions. They dream to be an incredible person but don't get started. Do you think saying things like just do it will motivate them to take actions? Believe me, I tried this with my son but it never worked at all when it comes to studying. He would just do it for a short period but would eventually stop because he wasn't fully committed. People, especially boys, don't like to be controlled or take orders. They want to decide by themselves. But when the parents just keep yelling at them to do their homework or stop playing video games, what will they do? They try whatever they can to procrastinate. I've learned my lesson and now I think I just need to fully trust and believe that when the bucket of water gets overflowed with esteem, then they will take initiative in their life. Then they will decide and choose the life they want and take full responsibility on their own. This mindset can't be cultivated if someone keeps telling them what to do. What we as parents can do is to keep on pouring positive words and encourage them, to praise their mindsets, to praise what they are thinking and willing to do one day regardless of their actions now. The final level is esteem their existence. Wouldn't you be happy if someone said to you, you're amazing just the way you are? Not because you've achieved something great, not because you worked hard or took the actions, not because you have the right mindset, but because you exist, because you make the people around you feel wonderful. 7.7 .7 billion people are living on this earth. It's a miracle that we even met and we're in the same team or family. When you have this level of gratitude and praise someone for their existence, that will be a whole new level of leadership. What if every single person in your company did this? Don't you think your organization would be such an amazing place? 
But in the end, we can't change other people's lives. We can never control other people the way we want to. We can only believe. The only person who could change you is you. The world around you can't change you unless you commit to change yourself. Having said that, we as leaders should have the beautiful attitude to keep on pouring esteem little by little with love. Sending recognitions on their achievements, process, actions, mindsets, and their existence. To raise their self-esteem. We don't know when the water gets over flooded. We just need to believe that one day it will come. The day that will change their lives. The day that they will have infinite belief in themselves and take on the world. To go after their dream life. Imagine all of your teammates or family having this kind of high self-esteem. Imagine a world full of people focusing on living their full potential. A world without negativity and criticizing other people's lives. The people who know the tremendous value within don't think negative about others. They can only cheer for those who are striving and challenging. Would you like to pour that esteem and help the people you care of to have a wonderful life? If you agree, I believe this world will be a much better place. Question of the day. What kind of words would you like to give to praise someone you meet next time? Please post your answers below because I would really love to hear. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.